Tonight, researchers are busting a myth about math. According to a study that looked at grades 2 through 11, girls now do just as well as boys in the subject. And that's based on a survey of more than 7 million test scores, the largest of its kind ever. Kelly Wallace has more. I want to know the probability of rolling double one. Old stereotypes about boys being better than girls at math just aren't adding up. Not in 10-year-old Kara Geiger's math class. Only one person in our class got a straight ace, and that was a girl. Girl power, right? That's right. 11-year-old <laughs> Alexandra Almanzar says math is her best boys. subject. Do you think girls are as good in math as boys? Yeah. You do? Today's study says she's right and could have tremendous implications. Previous studies found boys did better in high school. If parents and teachers hold these stereotypes, they may guide a girl away from taking math courses because she wants to go into engineering. They may tell her that girls can't do math. That's what got former Harvard University President Lawrence Summers in trouble three years ago when he suggested innate differences may be the reason fewer women succeed in science and math careers. I've always said I wanted to be a scientist or maybe an accountant one day. While nearly as many women as men have undergraduate college degrees in math, women are still far behind in areas like physics and engineering. Math class is tough. Barbie stopped saying that math class is tough 16 years ago. And after today's study, maybe more girls will stop saying it to themselves. Kelly Wallace, CBS News, New York. Two notes now about the Beijing Olympics, which open two weeks from tomorrow. An American swimmer might be banned. Jessica Hardy tested positive for a banned stimulant, reportedly clenbuterol. Hardy is a former world record holder in the 100-meter breaststroke and hoped to medal in these Olympic Games. Today, her agent issued a statement in which she denied doping. Meanwhile, Iraqi athletes learned today they are disqualified from Beijing because of politics. The International Olympic Committee accuses the Maliki government of unacceptable political interference in the country's athletic program. Seven athletes from Iraq had hoped to compete in five different sports. Coming up next... Is this a face or is this a face? The story behind it in a moment.